All right, let's get Star Wars Outlaws official gameplay showcase. Go to video. Now, this was in the uh, Ubisoft forward. Here we go. Hey, new record. Okay. At the top, where it should be. Oh, she's talking. She's talking to Ish. Let's go, Nix. All right. Hello, everyone. I'm Matthias Carlson, game director at Massive Entertainment. Matthias. Today, we'll show you a different type of adventure. Okay. And as we journey across multiple systems, we will come across many of Oh my god, bro, who's getting swinged on in the back? Okay. In Star Wars Outlaws, one of your motivations for exploration is to find elusive experts scattered across the galaxy. Okay. These experts will help Kay pick up new skills to survive in the underworld. Okay. Lock picking, fast talk. Here, we're looking for a gunslinger who can teach us some new tricks. Okay. Our intel points to the Moss Eisley Cantina on Tatooine. So let's head back to our ship. Oh, oh, we're going on a ship in our favorite rocket sap. Oh my goodness. A remnant of the Clone Wars. It used to be a refueling station that now acts as a trade hub for illegal contraband. It's a great place to resupply. Okay. I, I wonder if we're gonna like go into like space and stuff. Merchants are often affiliated with a syndicate and might offer you a special deal if you're in good standing with them. A merchant. Oh, this who's kind that of guy? business attracts all kinds of shipjackers, contract brokers, and corrupt officials. Oh. Like no smiles, whoever was. I haven't seen a smile yet. Your ship, the Trailblazer, is a refined EML 850. Wait, that's our ship. Its kind. That's our On ship. Board, you'll find everything you need to finalize your preparations. Oh, I wonder if we can like design our ship. That'll be that'll be crazy, bro. If we can like design our ship, that'll be crazy. Hey, Andy. Hi, Katie. What's up? How you doing? She said me. That's my name. Archiva space. Each planet has its own system for you to explore. Wait, she said my name in we're in space? Credits, which you can choose to engage with or not. I am under attack. My ship will not survive long. Oh, we're in space. Uh-oh. This is k Vess on board the Trailblazer. Right, well, this is I'm Star Wars. Let's go. Let's go crazy. This is Star Wars, bro. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bro, this feels like, uh, like Star Fox. Turret activated, Terry. Uh-oh, uh-oh, wait a minute. One down. Okay. I mean, well, bro, the name of the game is Star Wars. It's Star Wars, so, uh... I mean, I wasn't even expecting us to go into space, though. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that at all. Happy to help. And you can tell Gorak he owes k -Vess a ship. In space, your actions also have consequences and can impact your reputation with syndicates. Okay. This optional dogfight allowed us to improve our reputation with the Pikes while making a few credits. Spooling up the hyperdrive. Now let's continue our journey and head to Tatooine. Oh, okay, that animation was hard. That animation was nice. So I'm guessing like like I'm guessing like we can't like like literally like land on a plane. I think that'll be like like just like Star Trek. There'll probably be like a loading screen or something like that. Of the galaxy. The tattoo system is in the clutches of the hot cartel. Our reputation with them is initiate poor, landing. So we best be on our way. Yeah, I told you it's gonna be like some like loading screen or something like that. It's fine though. Like when we start making games to the point where like we'll actually like be landing on it. Wait, what? Wait, you can Welcome land on a you can land on a planet? The infamous hive 
of scum and villainy. We could head straight to our destination. Or explore what the city has to offer. Wait, you can land on the... I don't know, you can land on the... Wait, 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 wait. Recreating wait. this iconic city is a dream come true for our team. Allowing us to show parts of Moss Eisley you've never seen before. Okay. I didn't know you can land on the planet. I didn't know that. Uh oh, there we're playing many poker. opportunities for a scoundrel. Including working your way in with the hot cartel. Most of Tatooine's economy is under their control. Even though the increased imperial oh, a storm trooper. in their business. But first, we need to pick up the trail of our expert gunslinger. The best place to start is the cantina. By asking around, we learn of a pirate who is deadly with the blaster and who used to work for the hot cartel. Our intel okay. leads to one of their storehouses, located in the southern hills. Traveling to I'm gonna be honest, so far it doesn't look bad at all. I like itself. it. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Hey, the cinematics are, I like the cinematics a lot. And dusty valleys, you'll quickly realize that this lawless desert planet still holds many mysteries. We've reached our destination. We need to locate our storehouse and find our way into this heavily guarded fortress without okay. triggering the alarm. Busy place. How about the axe? Like, how is she gonna get in? <laughs> like, how? Like, do we have like, do like, do we have to like sneak our way through or what? That's what I'm guessing. Listen, I don't want to. Maybe there's a data pad or something. I don't want to be overcritical or nothing, but like, was her pants just glitching out? Like, I don't want to be like, you know, one of those type of people, you know. But, you know, I gotta call a spade for spade, you know. It look like her, it like her, it look like something on her is glitching out. I don't know. It, it's fine. Ooh. Oh, up a gut of death. Next, do you sense anyone close? Oh snap! You can use him. Okay, I like that. So you can use like you can use like that little squirrel to like. To, I'm, I'm playing. It's not a squirrel. Ooh! Oh, she's being like the UFC or something. Oh wow! Ooh, got him! Got him! Easy. All right, let's see what we have here. Okay. Yes, I got it. Slim pig is known as uh. That sheriff from Wayfar used to work for the Huts. I should talk to her. Uh oh! Uh -oh. Ooh, ooh, caught him! Ooh. We've been spotted, but we uh -oh. now know where to find our gunslinger. Uh oh! Let's get out of here. Quick. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! We're in trouble, pal. Uh oh! So I was. Okay. Wait. So wait. Is her gun blocking off the? Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. We need a quick exit. Okay. Come on, next. Okay, so the bite just comes out of okay. Okay. I'm gonna hold off like everything. I, I'm gonna hold off everything at the end of the video, and then I'm gonna tell you like what I really think about it. Okay, like for now, let's just watch it, and then at the end, I'll, I'm gonna tell you guys like what I think. Okay. You again? If you're still looking for Haas, I haven't seen him. Actually, I'm here for you. I heard you're the best shot on the planet. Oh, and you want to be second best? Now is not a good time. The huts are coming, and I need to get ready. Get your blaster out. 
What we have just shown you is the beginning of one of the many adventures you can go on in Star Wars Outlaws. Whether you want to learn new blaster skills, upgrade your speeder, okay. or become an unstoppable thief. Oh my! Taser! Death! Finding an expert is always an adventure in a galaxy okay. full of opportunities. Okay. 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 All right. I got. Okay. Here's what I gotta say about this, right? I'm not one of those type of people that are like very overcritical and you know, like, oh my god, that sucks, that sucks, that sucks. You just throw away the game. Like, I'm not one of those type of guys, right? But here's what I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say: what I like and what I don't like. Okay. Number one, first of all, I didn't even know that we can go into space. Now, obviously, it's a Star Wars game, so, I mean, you know, space has... Space is, like, a key thing, you know, a part of the game. Um, and so, yeah, the fact that, like, we can, like, you know, actually battle other, like, ships and stuff in space, I like that a lot. I like that. That's a big yes for me. The scenery. I love the scenery. I love, like, the environment. Um, I, I just love, like the, like, the movie feel to it. I feel like this is, like, a movie type of game. I love the movie feel to it. I like that a lot, too. Um, one thing, I, I think I saw like a few glitches along the thing, but I was like, you know, it's fine. I'm, you know, the game comes out in August, uh, it's June. So we got a couple months, you know, so they can like polish some things up, but that's, I'm not worried about that. You know, um, the shooting, the shooting, no, like this shooting right here, like the, like the ship shooting was, was nice and satisfying. The shooting right here where like, she's going up against like some of the enemies, like there was like a, it, for me, it looked a little janky. If I'm being honest, it, it, it looked like the little, um, it looked a little rough for me, if, 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 if I'm just being honest with you. You know, you guys know, like, I, I got to tell the truth at, at all times, you know. Um, I, I love the scenery. I love the fact that we can go into space and we can go to different planets and stuff. I love the fact that we can shoot down other ships and stuff. Uh, and I love that. I love that. I love the scenery. Um, again, I love the movie feel about it. But if I'm being honest with you, like the on-foot shooting and stuff like that, man, uh, it, it looked a little janky, but that was really it. Um, and, and like a little bit of glitches, but like I said before, I feel like, you know, they can, um, I feel like they can fix that. We got about what, two months, you know, and, and so I don't really, I'm not really, um, you know, I'm not really hitting my head against the wall saying, oh, this is unfixable. It's going to be a, a big thing. No, they're going to fix it out. Uh, it's just the shooting was a little janky. That's the thing. I feel like the shooting, uh, or unless it was the gun, unless it was a gun, because, and this little fast part right here, she had like a machine gun that had like a shoot around it, and it, that looked okay. So maybe it was just the gun, but um, the shooting was definitely like a little janky for me. But comment down below, man. What do you guys think about uh, Star Wars Outlaws uh, gameplay? Uh, tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Be honest, because at the end of the day, you know, if you're honest and you and you tell and you say like what you actually don't like, then you know, some you never know who watches the video. That's the thing, like. You, I, like you, you legit never know who watches this specific video, and they might take some pointers, whatever, or not even pointers, but they might just take some insight that like that we may have seen, and that they may have they that they like may have not seen, and they might like take that and you know apply it to the game. So you never know, you know who watches the videos, whatever. I think that's one thing that I learned from a lot of different YouTubers is like you never know who watches the videos, like you never know. So at the end of the day, um, I like a lot of things. It's just like. The thing that I really don't like was like how like I wasn't like the shooting wasn't even bad. It was just like it was it was very janky. It was very just like um, it, it wasn't the shooting wasn't like a satisfying thing. Like the shooting wasn't the shooting didn't make me jump. It was like it was kind of like like oh uh, like wiggly. Maybe it was the person's aim or whatever. But I'm pretty sure this part right here. Like I'm, I'm gonna show you a part where I was like uh. Okay, it's a little bit before this. Give me one second. So, right. Okay, a little bit before this. So, right here. Whenever she's shooting this thing right here, I don't know if this guy is just tanking the bullets, but, like, she shot him, like, three times. and Like, like right here. We're in trouble, pal. So, it, it, I don't know if she shot him and he just tanked it, but, like, he didn't have any reaction. So, I'm thinking, okay, wait, did she hit the thing or is she accidentally, like, shooting this or something? Like, he didn't move. So, I'm thinking, like, you know, maybe it's just, like, maybe either, like, the gun was, maybe, like, she's stuck on something and she's shooting this or, like, like, the guy, he's not having no reaction to it. 
Like, right there, I'm like, okay, cool. Like, surely he just took four shots. Surely he's going to, like, make, like, some type of animation or whatever. Okay, and then the last shot hit him. So, I, I guess the guy just sat there and he just tanked the shots. Um, other than that, uh, I would say... It... Like, right there. You see, like, whenever, like, like, you first shot and you hit this, whatever. Again, it's nothing. It, it, it's very, like... I'm not saying like it's a big thing, okay? I'm not gonna sit here and say like, oh, whoever worked on whoever worked on the aiming, you should be fired immediately. Like I'm not, no, like I'm not saying that. It's just at first I'm like, and you know what? If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I'll easily take that. You know, I'll be like, you know what? What I said was dumb. Cool, take it to the grave. Da 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 da. Right? So maybe you know the shooting was on par, and the guy just sat there and he just tanked the shots. I mean, look, listen. Whenever an enemy gets shot at like like a certain few times, whatever, the enemy's gonna make some type of like animation, like, oh snap, I got hit, but you know, still gonna continue to shoot. Bro, he just sat there. He just he took all three. He just kept shooting. <laughs> he just sat there. So I'm thinking, okay, like maybe like you know, she didn't hit him or nothing. But I mean, we watched it back. She hit him three times. He didn't make any re like any reaction or whatever. So at the end of the day, maybe it was like a big misunderstanding from my part. But other than that, man, I I, I do like a lot of um. Other things about the game, like I said, such as the scenery, uh, the fact that we're in space and stuff like that. That's a big thing, bro. I don't know why, but, like, ever since Starfield came out, bro, I've had, like, a new love for, like, like these high-quality space games, you know? Um, obviously, I grew up on, like, Star Fox and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I've been on, I've been loving space games and stuff like that. But um, now we got these high-quality, you know, space. We can see all the asteroids. We can see Earth. And it's crazy. So, I'm going to be honest with you. Um like graphic wise they did a really good job um and, and it feels like a movie that's the thing if it like it feels like we're just like playing a movie right now which is a good thing for me i love like movie typing games um comment down below again what do you guys like what you guys don't uh what you guys don't like like the video subscribe to the channel thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are new again like the video subscribe to the channel and uh <laughs> you guys like the videos, them out and